but less, most sump pumps are going to look somewhat like this and operate similar to this. This is a Zoller M53 sump pump and it's got a bunch of other things hooked up to it. We're going to ignore that for now. Let's just focus on the sump pump function as itself. So what you can see here is you have the pump and you have the float here. Now when the water level rises, what happens just like a toilet is it pulls this float up and at some point a switch turns the pump on. Now when the water level drops as the pump is removing the water, it'll drop slowly and eventually turn the water off. That's how the float actuates. It actually goes up and down just like that. Now most pumps work like this. This one in particular has a guide rail on it. Some other pumps have cords so they kind of hang off and they go up and stuff like that. Every sump pump is going to operate the same way. There's just a couple minute differences in the, 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 uh, the actual float itself. So that's essentially what I did when I manually turned it on. I stuck my arm into that pit, 